So at the moment, the number one thing going on in Star Citizen is the Ship Showdown. A showdown every year of all the ships in-game in Star Citizen where the community is asked to pick their favorite ship. And well, here's mine, the Ares Ion. It's a beauty. It's got a size 7 cannon. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's super aerodynamic. It just has a really cool uh, interior. I just love everything about the ship. Apart from there's no halves in it. If it was a little bit bigger and I could go to sleep in it, I'd be a happy man. But um, yeah, anyway, enjoy this video where I get reacquainted with the Ion and go on some bounties. It was pretty fun. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit like button, and uh, yeah, enjoy. I mean, look at this. It looks incredible. <laughs> it really does. I don't care what anyone says. It looks so good. And you know what? If this ship were to win the showdown, I don't think it will, because I don't think it's everyone's cup of tea, but I absolutely think this thing is gorgeous. You know what the worst part about if it did win? I don't think they could beat the color scheme and the skin on top of this ship. I know that sounds like a challenge to the art team or whoever does that stuff, but oh my word, it looks perfect out of the box. It doesn't even need a skin. All right, are you ready for this? Hang on, hold up, hold up, hold up. Chill, 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 chill. Whoa, G-Force, hello. All right, you ready? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> oh man, being in this ship in this game, it is something else. Holy. Am I the only one that thinks that this looks absolutely impeccably good? Uh, let's get out of atmosphere here and do the very high risk target, which should be okay. I'm, I'm hopeful. Where are we going? It was yellow, wasn't it? So I need to get to a spaceport, Port Lassar, and work my way around the planet. Honestly, I'm just sat here just going, man, this looks good. Like, there's nothing in the way apart from <laughs> the cool epic cannon on the side. Everything else looks awesome. There's just no... Oh, there's, look, you can see, there you go. Oh, there's the roof. But apart from that, this game in widescreen, just mwah, in this ship specifically, is awesome. So yeah, one thing to keep in mind with this ship, actually, there's not really much you can do in customization. You can't swap out the gun, I don't believe. I think it's actually locked to the ship. It'd be kind of cool if you could buy a different cannon, like maybe put a repeater on there or, uh, you know, a ballistic. But then, you know, if you're going to go ballistics, you would just go the Inferno, I suppose, right? Um, but yeah, there's not really much customization with this ship. That's the only downside, I guess. Um, but like I say, out of the box, this thing looks awesome. It doesn't need a cool paint job because it's already got one. Um, I've upgraded the shield generator and coolers and power, but you don't really need to do that. It comes with fairly good stuff out of the box. Uh, and I, like, I just think this ship is awesome. I just wish it was a little bit more powerful because it's quite, like the cannon is quite hard to hit targets. It's actually easier, somewhat, to do these um, higher risk targets. Wow, that looks good. Holy, I love this equipment I'm using, which is another reason why you should, should subscribe because I'll tell you how I'm looking around the ship. This looks phenomenal. Holy potato waffles, that looks so good. Oh, screenshot simulator. Right, anyway. Let's do this. Um, Yeah. Is this... It's not gimbaled, is it? Nope. <laughs> I did not think so. Uh, that is a cutlass black. Yeah, cutlass black can be kind of annoying. Cut, another cutlass black. This is going to get interesting here. Here we go. Right, here we go. See, I've got to line this up. Friendly? Nah, you're not friendly. Look at this. What is this? Oh, so it's really hard to hit these shots, actually. Where is he going? Oh, he sp <laughs> did he just hit the ground there? Maybe. 
It's, like, like I say, it's so hard to hit these shots. Oh, there you go. I hit one. <laughs> it's tough. It's really tough. Right, speed limiter. Let's get rid of that. Get around a bit. Whoa, it looks amazing in here. Woohoo! I love this. It's so good. So, we are taking on a Valkyrie here, which is a pretty big ship, actually. Can I actually just reverse this? Yeah, I can. Let's fire some missiles in. Love that. Fire some... Come on. Whoa, hey dude. You alright? Don't know what's going on with that missile. Whoa! <laughs> awesome stuff. Alright, cool. Whoa, that was cool. No, they disappear. I don't know why they do that now, actually. So the, the missiles, like, the enemies actually just disappear. Uh, once you take, once you kill the tar main target. Which is kind of a bummer, because it kind of means if you want, if you want to just have some fun and, like, do some dogfighting, you've got to leave the main target till last. So, let's try that again. Alright, where are these guys? Oh, my word. Const oh, there's a, there's a player down here. What the hell? Alright, I'm going to guess it's the... Oh, no, it's not. It is... This guy we've got to take out. Okay. Timothy Dermot. Wait. Oh, I... Oh, my word. Oh, my... What the heck just happened? Oh, someone... <laughs> I think a player just blew up then. I'm not... I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, no missiles. Woo. Just missed them. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, collision alert. Oh, that was close. Reset. Engines. Neutral. All right, I need to lower my speed a little bit. See any way I'm going to stay on target here. Oh. Get rid of those. Getting some hits. <laughs> This is the thing. If I was fighting a capital ship or whatever with a few other guys, this thing would be epic, right? But doing what I'm doing right now, which is, I mean, incredibly cinematic. I'm going <laughs> to... Incredibly cinematic. Uh, it, it's not... It's not the perfect solution, right? But, I mean, it looks cool. Whoa. <laughs> Almost blacked out then. Okay, I think we're good. Right, I need the ship to be absolutely still. Are we good? Okay, I think we're good. Right, so what I need to do here is get out. This is what I really want to show you guys. This is when I realize I don't have a helmet and I cry. And I think, right, if I hit my multi-tool... I've, I've never tried this, but why is the field of view so weird? Oh my goodness, it actually works. <laughs> so yeah, if you didn't know, in this game, uh, you can get the true hold and actually pull yourself towards things, which is kind of ridiculous. Hang on. So can I push? Oh! Is there a way to push away? Nice stuff. <laughs> it's awesome. I wish there was a little bit more range of motion, like I could kind of fling myself a little bit, but I think maybe they're working on that or something. Probably working on something. They're always working on something with Star Citizen. Ooh, this is interesting, actually. I know at some point uh, they're going to work on being able to fix parts of your ship. Ah, oh, that would be so cool if I could kind of, like, do a bounty hunt, right? And, uh... Kind of be like, oh no, I need to fix up my ship a little bit and then come over here and patch it up. That would be so cool. But it's interesting. You can actually see the frame underneath. This game is actually awesome. And I'm sure at some point, um, a bullet or... Oh wow, over here, look. Actually hit me. 
and actually cause that damage. Like an actual tangible object in the game hit me. Which is why it's so awesome. And when physicalized components and stuff become a thing, I'm going to have to come out here, for example. Say if my shield generator broke or, you know, I'm going to have to come out here, fix it all up, open it all up, fix it, and then kind of be on my way. But yeah, no, I just really love where this game's going. But we do have a weapon locker, which I mentioned earlier, and storage. So I can actually store stuff in the ion, which um, I've never actually done. But I just really wish you could actually go to sleep in the ship, you know. <gasps> Look how cool that looks. <laughs> that looks awesome. <laughs> so good. All right. Let's say we do one more and then uh, see if I survive. This time I'm allowed to use missiles though, right? Ah, the cinematic world of Star Citizen. You are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's behind me. Pause. Pause. Pull out. No. It seems really inconsistent. Sometimes I can stop Quantum. I don't know if about you guys agree with me on this. Sometimes I can stop Quantum with my hold the button halfway through a Quantum jump. Other times I feel like I can't. Whether it's like, uh, I don't know. You can only do it when you're not around a planet or something that no one's told me or something weird like that. Uh, please let me know in the comment section. But yeah, the only way I can do it uh, consistently, I suppose, is by just turning off the ship entirely. But the problem with that is every time you do that, your shields get knocked out and you have to wait for them to recharge. Um, so yeah, that's not really ideal. I'm going to try and remember this time not to kill the main target until last, purely because I just want to have a longer gunfight. Uh, Gladius. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. We'll go for that. We'll go for that. And... We'll fire now. Oh my goodness, that's so satisfying. Hey, that was kind of cool. What's this guy? I've actually not got... My targeting computer set up. That looks like a cutlass black. All right, Victor. You're going down first, buddy. While your friends scramble to try it. Yeah, it is a cutlass black. Okie dokie. Nice. Let's do the dance, boys. Oh, no. It's a buccaneer. I'm sorry. It's still a cheap ship. <laughs> oh. Nope. <laughs> nice try, buddy. That's fine. Oh, it's so hard to hit him. Oh, that was a nice hit. You guys see that? Look at me. I'm like freaking dancing while doing dogfighting. Oh. Oh, my word. That was kind of cool. This is some... Wait, is he going to crash? He might be crashing. <laughs> Did I like... <laughs> throw him off so much with my reckless flying. <laughs> he kind of almost crashed. That would have been cool. These guys are really hard to deal with. They're such small ships. There we go. Nice. Uh, come on. One of these got hit. I mean, it's very easy to dodge that, as you say. Got a hit. Oh. Like I say, this ship is just not built for this situation. It just it just isn't built for targeting small ships like the Buccaneer, for example. It's much better suited to Valkyries or even bigger. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, hey, buddy. Come on. Oh, that hit him. I think I've actually done quite a lot of damage to this guy. That beeping seriously needs to stop, though. Can you please? Ooh. Hey, it stopped. Finally. All right. This Vanguard isn't doing very much. He obviously doesn't have a turret. A uh, guy running his turret. Oh. Come on. Is he, like, knocked out or something? He's not really moving anymore. Did I kill his engines or something? See, I think this is actually where 
the combat for Star Citizen is going to end up. Like, eventually you'll just disable people's ships rather than than just, like, exploding. I don't know how I feel about that, because I kind of love the satisfying, you know, explosion. I hope they don't lose that. I hope there's still a way to, like, continuously just, like, get a massive explosion. This is exhausting, by the way. I don't... <laughs> Come on. Here we go. This is good. This is good. This is good. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. Wait, is he on the ground? Is he just like crashed or something? I can't really tell. It looks like he's like... Yes. <laughs> he crashed into a mountain. You see that mountain just there? <laughs> he hit that. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Cheers, buddy. That made my life a little bit easier. Nice. All right, guys. Like I say, let me know what you think about this ship in the comment section. I'm a huge fan, honestly. Um, and equally, let me know what is your favorite ship in the comment section if it's not this. Um, and, uh, yeah, show your support to the, to the Ion in the, uh, the wonderful showdown. It's going to be good fun. Anyway, I'll uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye.